Michigan has sculptured and put on her exhibit. It was absolutely wonderful to work with Susan and my younger daughter. It was just fabulous. She sculpted lifelike image. She caught it to the T, every detail. How did you meet? We met at Rowan Homes and doing a residential meeting and she introduced herself. She brought a couple of her sculptures. I like what I seen, the way she talked, she presented herself and I wanted to work with her. It's almost like she captures actual human life. She captures everyday living, live people just doing whatever it is you do. And then in my case, I'm a parent that's uh, raising three children, and that was my youngest. And she's gonna be very pleased to know that she's gonna be somewhere in the museum as she get older. <laughs>
experience as a child playing with Barbie dolls, playing with small scale people. On some level that really informs what I do. I don't think of these as dolls, of course, but there's something about that scale that really stuck with me my whole life. For example, the Thorn Rooms in the Chicago Art Institute, these very small scale, very intricate period rooms. I loved as a child. I used to go there and look at those um, with my family. And somehow that's worked its way back into what I do, especially with the, the penitentiary series and some of the newer work with the dioramas. The work at the Schmidt Dean Show is from a series that I started last year called Citizens, People of Philly is the subtitle. It's a kind of a huge operatic idea, really epic. People that I've met on the street and homeless people, utility workers and Occupy Philly protesters, I went there and worked with quite a few of them. They were pretty enthusiastic about it. I think I've barely scratched the surface and I want to include as, as many different types of people and subcultures as I can in this series. But it's been fun. I've worked with people at some homeless shelters that were really great to work with and there's going to be a few of those in the show. And people that I met in the community garden that I'm part of, which was a really great experience. One of my other projects is photographing and looking at things around the city, just objects that are part of urban life. And I got really interested in the newspaper boxes. They turned into this forum for creative expression and communication around the city. There are artists that produce these stickers and wheat pastes that go on the boxes. I just fell in love with them. And there are some that are just so beautiful. And they're gone now, they're temporary. These come and go. I just thought they were an important part of this story about life in Philadelphia. I've done four so far. There's so much that the city has to offer. The people that are in it make it just um, a wonderful place to live. And four of those people are a reason why Philadelphia is such a great place to see art. Susan told me about her closeness to three other highly accomplished women artists that she has met in the city. And my local friends, Judith Schechter, Tina Newberry, Sarah McEnany, everybody's got their own personal style. Even though we're, we're working very different media, very different styles, we really support each other as a group in the way we think, which is in some ways very traditional, in other ways completely radical.